Want to live on a cruise ship? You better open up that pocketbook. After looking at the cost of sailing in 2021, we've estimated the total amount you would have to pay to live in paradise for an entire year, and it is not cheap. Who hasn't gone on a cruise and thought, I could do this forever? The idea of retiring from the rat race and living out your days on a cruise has great appeal for some people. There's no cleaning, no cooking, and no lawn to mow. And you don't have to worry about doing the dishes or paying an electric bill. And there's always something going on, new people to meet, and every day you wake up to some of the most beautiful views in the world. Of course, not everyone can run off and live on a cruise ship, but that doesn't mean you can't dream. And the first question that comes to mind when you think about escaping is how much it would cost to live aboard the ship. So how much would you have to pay? We recently priced out the cost of living aboard a ship for an entire year. Now, one quick thing to note before we get into the prices. Cruising is much more expensive than many people realize. Here's the deal. You head to any cruise website and you'll see plenty of cheap headline prices. At first glance, it seems like living on a cruise ship would be amazingly affordable. I just looked at Carnival's website and they have cruises starting at $65 per day. For many people, that would be cheaper than living on land. But anyone who has been on a cruise ship knows the headline prices are just the start of what you'll pay. In fact, in our opinion, it's actually a bit disingenuous of the cruise lines to advertise those prices by themselves. After all, what you'll actually pay is much, much more. First, there's double occupancy cruise fare. Apart from a few sailings that do offer solo cabins, any headline price you find is actually only half of what you will pay for the cruise fare. That's because cabins are typically sold based on double occupancy, but prices are shown per person. So for a fare that's $599 for a cruise, it will actually cost $1,198 based on double occupancy, even if you were sailing alone. Then there are the port fees and taxes. We all expect to pay taxes on things that we buy. It's no different for a cruise. However, the taxes aren't included in the headline cruise fare. Fares will also have port fees tacked on. These are per passenger fees paid to the ports of call for the privilege of docking. Next, you have gratuities. Sure, at the end of the day, gratuities aren't technically a required cost as you can adjust them as necessary. But in practice, they are usually considered a charge that you'll have to pay. They also add up quickly. At around $14 per person per day for your average cruise line, a couple traveling on a week-long cruise will pay about $200 in gratuities. Over the course of a year on a cruise ship, that amount comes out to more than $10,000 in gratuities alone. Finally, there is onboard spending. From drinks to Wi-Fi to specialty restaurants, there are plenty of extras to spend money on on the ship. And even if you are frugal, you won't go any length of time without having a few drinks or signing up for the internet package to check in back on shore. Now with all of these expenses in mind, we dove into what it would cost to live on a cruise ship for an entire year. Of course, when it comes to cruising for 12 months, you have an amazing number of options from different cruise lines to different itineraries, departure ports, ships, and even cabin types. There are a number of decisions that will have a big impact on what you spend. That's why we aim to keep everything as simple as possible. To price what it costs to live aboard the ship for a year, we took a look at sailings aboard the Carnival Horizon in 2021. Now, Carnival Horizon is a newer ship from the cruise line that sails six and eight day itineraries year round from Miami. That means you could sail the entire year without having to change ships and always come back to a home port in the United States roughly once a week. The routes at the Horizon Sails will take you all across the Caribbean from Cozumel to Aruba to San Juan to Grand Cayman. And because it is a bigger and newer ship in the Carnival fleet, you get tons of amenities and activities on board as well as a ton of restaurant options, which includes the all-important Guy's Burger Joint. As for the cabin, in our search, we opted for a balcony cabin. 
Now, you would be able to sail cheaper in an ocean view or in an interior cabin. However, we assume that if you were on board the ship for an extended period of time, having your own balcony is a must. As well, we assumed a couple is sailing on this trip for a year with two people to the room. So how much does it cost to sail on the Carnival Horizon for an entire year? We estimate it to cost around $175,000 for two people, although that number can vary from person to person depending on their specific spending habits. Now, here's how we got to that number. The largest expense by far is cruise fare. Pricing a balcony room for each cruise the ship sails in 2021, it totaled $103,716, or about $2,000 a week. Now, keep in mind this is for two passengers on the ship, and it does include the bulk of what you'll spend on a cruise, including your cabin, entertainment, and most food. Next were the port taxes and the fees. There's no escaping taxes, even on a cruise out at sea. Pricing out our cruises, the taxes and port fees for two people totaled up to more than $14,000 for the entire year. That comes out to a little more than $1,000 a month. Then come the gratuities. One of the perks of being on a cruise is that you are waited on hand and foot, but it doesn't come free. Carnival charges $13.99 per person per day for their automatic gratuities. Over the course of a year, that adds up to more than $10,000 in tips paid to the staff. And finally, there's the onboard spending. How can you know what you'll spend on the ship over the course of a year? It's impossible to know for sure, and different people will spend different amounts. While you can't pinpoint exactly what you'll spend, you can get a good estimate, however. As a public company, Carnival Corporation, which is the parent of Carnival Cruise Lines, publishes detailed numbers about their business. For example, in 2019, the company took in $14.1 billion in ticket revenue and $6.3 billion in onboard spending. So onboard spending across all of its lines was about 45% of ticket revenue. For every $1,000 in cruise fare, that means the average person spent about $450 on the ship. Using this metric, with a total cruise fare of about $104,000, the average couple would spend $46,672 during the course of the year in onboard spending. Now, adding up tickets, port fees, taxes, gratuities, and onboard spending, the total estimated cost of living on a cruise ship for a year is $174,000. $791 for a couple, or about $87,000 per person. With that huge number in mind, there is no doubt that it's expensive to live on a cruise ship, but there are a few ways you could trim that amount. If you're interested in cutting down the price, here are a few ideas. First, you can limit onboard spending. In our estimate, we use the average spending Carnival sees across all of its cruise lines, which is about 45% of the cruise fare, but you don't have to spend near that much. After all, when people cruise, they are on vacation and likely willing to spend more freely than they would back home. By limiting the amount spent on board, you can cut thousands or even tens of thousands off this estimated total of living on the ship for a year. Second. You can look for trips on older ships. Our estimate is board the Carnival Horizon. Now we chose this ship because it is relatively new, meaning you'll have the most amenities for a long-term stay, but it also runs a regular schedule for Miami, which brings you back to the US. That said, in general, newer ships like the Horizon, they're more expensive to sail aboard. If you look for older ships, you should be able to cut the price down even more. Finally, you can adjust the itinerary for cheaper trips. Again, for this estimate, we priced out a year's worth of cruises on a single ship. That makes it very easy if you're sailing long term. You simply, simply stay on the ship and you don't have to worry about changing ships or changing ports. If you want cheaper options, however, you might find them by being a bit more flexible with changing ships and or cruise lines when you find a deal. That's where sailing from a port like Miami, which offers a lot of options, can be beneficial to your pocketbook. 
Now, what do you think about the cost of living full time on a cruise ship for a year? Is it more expensive than you thought it would be? Would you even be able to handle being on a cruise ship that long? Let us know in the comments below and we'll see you next time.